Hello and how are you? My name is Mahinu Bark and I welcome you to our 23rd video of mastering Flutter user interfaces. We always do 40 minutes for each session, so I'll begin our counter. As you still remember in the previous video, I told you that we are going to learn how to start now merging what we've been learning all different components that we've been learning from uh, the time we started this series of uh, mastering Flutter user interface and merge them to see how we can come up with different kind of what, with different kind of user interfaces and how we can implement them in real world. So yesterday we saw how we can create a login page, how we can create registration pages. We saw how we can create uh, tabs with the real world examples and we also went ahead and deal with the forms, how we can design different kind of forms. So today we are going to see how you can make uh, different profile pages in simple terms we're going to do something like this we're going to design this user interface where you can create maybe let's say that you're making an application where you'll have uh, profile pages of different users so you see we're going to learn how you can make something like this so you can expand you can scroll on top and then the the upper will collapse and then the picture will remain there fixed and then these things will be expandable so we're going to see how we can make such a kind of user interface so we're also going to see how we can make um, a profile page like this one. We are going to see how you can make another profile page like this one. So we're going to merge what we've been learning and see how we can put them together to achieve uh, these uh, combined uh, user interfaces that you can implement in real world. So without wasting much time, let's go straight into our today's business and get started. So you can see I've already opened our, pre our project and then I'll go to the emulator that we shall use for practicing, which is this one. And uh, you can see I've done what I have uh, already uh, done what I've already run our application. So if this is your first video, I recommend you to go to our previous videos and watch them so you can uh, get enough foundation of what we are discussing in this video series but if you're an expert all what you need is just download the scratch project the link in the description and then start from here where we are however that project will help you to give you the assets such as images and uh, strings and dummy data uh, and you'll be able to proceed from from where we are right now so let's go straight and uh, create here a section of what of profiles so i'll come here and then come here to our screens and create a new what a new directory directory called profiles okay so in these profiles i'm going to add a special profile this one that we're going to do let me i think let me just uh, separate the two because i did use one but it's like to disturb let me see let me see. Okay. All right. I got this. Okay. Got this. All right. So, then to come to our routes and then come here to where there is what? Where there is profiles. And then we're going to do this profile of a what? Of a polygon. This one. We're going to begin by doing this one. Okay? So it's not going to be a simple one, but let's face it and design it together. All right. So we have, we're going to begin by putting a section of profiles. So I've already created the directory. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to add the section of profile in our main route. So I'll come to our main route and create another section that I'm going to call profiles. Okay. So this one I'm going to call it profiles and then I can change this maybe uh, an icon to user icon and then after I'll come and put this one here. Alright so I'm going to call this one uh, profiles okay I mean okay the first one I'm going to call it polygon 
profile. All right, so after doing that, I'm going to, let me first disable copilot. All right, so I'm going to create a what? A screen for the polygon profile, okay? So I'll come to our pages, I mean our, our files, and then create a new what? A new file that I'm going to call a polygon profile screen dot that okay so this screen it's where i'm going to put the what the logic of creating the polygon profile so i just simply say stateful widget i say polygon dot that aha uh -huh. so i mean i put that uh screen then i'll go ahead and import our what and import our our states after i'm going to connect this with our main route so someone if clicks on the main route they should be able to come to here so i'll come here to our main route and then i change this screen to polygon screen all right so after doing that now i'm going to make this clickable in a way that someone clicks here and then they come to this polygon screen okay so if someone clicks here is able to access this polygon screen now let us begin designing the polygon screen i mean the polygon profile screen so we're going to begin with the scaffold. So I'll come here and put a scaffold instead of placeholder. Okay. I'll import the scaffold. All right. So after importing the scaffold, the next thing that we're going to do, we are going to put now uh, the nested scroll view. Okay. So this someone should be able to scroll it like this. Okay. Let's do that. So we're going to put the nested scroll view. So the body of this polygon, I mean the body of this profile, is going, I mean of this, is going to be a nested scroll view. Can go ahead. Uh, I put the silver up bar. So this silver up bar is the up bar of which when you scroll, you see, it will change the color and the background. I believe you have ever seen that that kind of what, that kind of. Um, You've ever seen that kind of uh, of uh, of user interfaces where a screen is big and when you scroll it keeps on changing the up bar and then fix it to somewhere okay so that's you achieve that by using the nested scroll view and then you give it a what a header sli sliver uh, builder and then that header silver builder is where you put that logic of by default it will have a, I mean it will have a certain design in background and when someone scrolls it changes it and fix it to a specific color so this is how you achieve it so the next thing we're going to do here we're going to uh to give it a builder okay the header builder so it must have a body at least so let me go ahead and first give a body so it must have those two it must have a body and this builder so i can first give it a body of uh, maybe put your text and say maybe content okay so after doing that then you must have a what a header builder so this header builder it's, this is how you pass it you just simply header and then you pass the context you receive the context and then the inner scroll that will tell you whether it has been scrolled or not okay so you just simply come and say here header builder you open the bracket it's going to give you the build context so i can put here build 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 context i can call context i can call c and then put comma and then to give you a boolean that will tell you that it is scrolled so you can name this in any way that you want so after doing that you're going to go ahead and open the curl bracket here like this so inside here it is where we're going to return the what we're going to return uh the list of what of slivers or sliver up bar okay so here we're going to return a list of widget okay so i can simply put here like this and then save so you see i'm able to return a list of widgets so this can be my example my header okay so but right now you can see it does not make any sense because i've not returned any serious header there 
So it is expecting at least a silver up bar in one of those headers. All right, our application has crashed. Let me rerun it again. Okay, so after doing that, so in this thing that we're going to return, we're going to return the what? The silver up bar. So I'll come here, I'll return in form of a list, okay? In form of a list, you can even specify here that there should, there should be what? They should be widget. So it's going to return the silver up bar. So this silver up bar, sliver up bar is going to take a, a maximum height. So the maximum height is the maximum height that you want this up bar to have, or the, when it is expanded, how, 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 how high do you want it to expand? So that is the height that you'll have to specify. I mean the height that you'll have to specify here. So you give it what you call uh, expand height. So this expand height is the maximum height that your application, I mean your up bar will be expanded. So like when someone expands to below, what do you want to, there, to be there? So after doing that, the next thing you're going to give the background color of which someone expands on top, which color do you want to replace this previous image or previous content that is in background? So you can specify that one by, by first passing the what? The system overlay colors, okay? So I can pass the system overlay colors to those ones. So I can have that kind of what? Of background, okay? So you can see I have this height and then this overlay that show that colors the up bar. And then after, uh, this is the maximum height. So you see my content begins from here. Can you see this is the content? So the content begins from here. So this is the it will begin with this what with this expand height. So after doing that, the next thing that you're going to do, you're going to tell whether it should be floating or it should be pinned. Okay. So if you want it to be floating, it means that it will uh, allow someone to scroll it. If you want it to be pinned, it means that you not allow someone to do what to scroll it. Let me, for example, put here uh, too much content. Let me put sound this one with what with um with the column and put here style and put here uh, okay let me put here just like too much content that can be scrollable oh, let, me, let me just make them big okay i just put here style Alright, so I just wanted to make this one to be able to do how to scroll. So let me show you something. Is that uh, this is our content, eh? but you can see where our content begins from. It begins here in the middle. Why? Because it's specified here that the maximum scroll view it should be 200. So by default, it will begin by 200. So if you increase this one as well, this one will also increase. Alright, so after doing that, let's keep on. So you see when I'm scrolling, it will push it up okay uh let me show you now uh let's give for example where, where are we we are here uh -huh. so i was i wanted to explain this floating and pinned uh things eh? so before i do that uh let me first give it uh, a background color and make it uh, same blue Okay, so that's our background color. So you see, our up bar is there. It can be scrolled. Okay, so I hope you can see that. Now, uh -huh. now I want to, exp to explain the concept of pinned, okay, 
and floating so you see i can scroll it it goes up when i want it down i just scroll it down like this until i reach it then it comes up so floating now if you pass the parameter of floating okay let's see what's meant by floating so if you come here and say floating is true so what does it mean it means that it's going to float when i scroll it it goes up but immediately when I pull down, it does what? It starts coming. Wait, okay? I mean, floating means that it can be what? It can be scrolled up. So if I make it false, it means that what? It will be what? It will be fixed. Then uh -huh, we have another one called here, whether it is pinned. So pinned, it means going to be what? It's going to be fixed. So if I come here and make this pin to be true, so it means that our our up bar will be pinned. Can you see? It is not up, it's not disappearing. When I scroll up, it does not disappear the way how it was scrolling up and disappear. Otherwise, if I make it um, false, So it will disappear, you see, until someone scrolls down and then it does what? It comes back. Okay. So you see, so it is not disappearing. So it is pinned until someone expands back and then it comes and and be full up to the maximum height that we uh, we defined it to be. So if I make this one also uh, floating, so you'll see that... When I scroll back, it also does what? It also comes back. So that's the meaning of pin. Pinning means that it should always be on top when someone reaches this minimum height. All right, so we can proceed. Uh, now we have here flexible space. So flexible space is this space that is behind it, okay? This space that is behind it is what you call flexible space. So you can put anything that you want to see inside that, in the, that I mean, that behind space, okay? Let's say that you want to put an image like this one. So you can just simply say flexible space. For example, I'll just come here to the silver up bar and then I say uh, flexible space. That is the space that is behind there. And then you put your image that you want. Okay. So if I save, you'll see I'll have my image behind there. Okay. So it is just nothing but flexible space. So then I say flexible space, uh, space bar. And then I give the what? The image. Okay. In as the what as its background however there are more more parameters that you can give this flexible space space bar uh -huh, I just press uh, press control and space bar you'll see you'll have the color you can give it color you can give it height itself you can give it width you can uh, play around it eh? you see but the most important part is that um, that is the space that will be behind it. So Flutter gives you the user interface like when I keep on scrolling, it keeps on, you see, it keeps on changing that kind of uh, uh, light. So if I make this one, for example, uh, let's say 300, you'll see it will be big. So when someone scrolls, it keeps on disappearing until it is fixed. When someone scrolls back, it appears again. So that is a very beautiful user interface that you can implement creatively in your different kinds of apps. So I've put that space bar there. Uh, now the next thing, I'm going to put the leading button here. This is the leading button I always tell you in the app bar. I, I put the bleeding and then I put the icons. Okay, maybe it can be my icon for going back. It can be my icon for anything. Okay, so I put leading. It is the button that is going to replace this one. Okay, so I put leading. I'll have that one. So if I want to make it white, I can come here and change the color to white. All right. So I hope you're understanding. So if I want to put these icons, I believe you you, already, you know what they are. These are actions. So it has a parameter called actions of which you can put the buttons that you want to have there. And you can even as well put uh, the logic. So you see, I put actions and I put those buttons okay so and then i put here a pop-up menu this is the pop-up menu so maybe you can say maybe block this user send friend request something like that so when i come here let me change the colors of the icon
change this one to white. Change this menu color to white. So I'll have something beautiful like that one. So you can be creative and think how you can make even something that better out of this one okay so i can scroll like that all right so after doing that the next thing that we're going to do is now to put um the bottom so this uh up this what this uh sliver sliver what sliver up bar it has a, a section called bottom bottom is the space that gives you where that you can place content there in the bottom of it so I'm going to pass the bottom and then I, in the bottom I'm going to put uh, what our image that of the user profile so come here to bottom so in this bottom you can pass for example here and put for example bottom so if you save like this you'll see sorry <laughs> this bottom has to uh, to uh, so that what you call prefer size so I'm going to come here and then I pass preferred size okay so in this preferred size it must have a size for example we're counting that one put there okay and then after it must have the child of the content that one put there so you can pause the video and look at the child so the child of this preferred size is nothing but a what a container this container it has trans tra tra transform of uh, matrix 4 and then you put uh, translation of 0 to 50 through 0 and then it has a circle avatar so in this circle avatar it is where i give the radius of 50 and then i give the background color of uh, gray to 200 and then i give the circle avatar inside it of what of this uh, image okay so you can pause the video and see how i've achieved that so by doing like that, I will have our image on top there. I hope you can see. So that is the space of what of bottom. However, in this bottom space, you can as well put any kind of what, any kind of uh, content that you want. Okay. So you can pause the video and look at how I've achieved this one. All right. So after, I'm going to go now and add the what the body. Okay, now the content here. So the content, I'm going to begin by putting a scroll up bar. So it is going to be now in the body. So you can see how you can do this nested scroll view and then you put there any kind of things that you do what, that you want, including the what, the up bar. Then we go now to the body of the nested scroll view. So I will begin by putting a what? A single uh, scroll view. Then in there, I'm going to give it a what? A container. Let me first remove this one that I was using for demonstration. I'm going to give this one a container. Okay. Then after this container is going to have some padding of 20, so it can be spaced. Aha. Then you see we'll have that one then. So after I'm going to now go ahead and give a what um, the column as a child of this. So it's going to have children. All right. So after I'm going to go ahead and uh, give the height of 70 so that I should have enough space between my content and this picture. Okay. So I give the height of 70. And then after doing that, I'm now going to give my content. Okay, so I'll begin by putting this name that is going to be there and bolded. And then I import this styles. Okay, then I save. So I'll have there the name that is bolded. Okay.
So after having the name that is bolded, the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to give a container of 40 so it can be spaced. Or 15. Then after, I'm going to put now the Lorem Ipsum. This is just Lorem Ipsum, a short introduction, and then I make it center. Okay, I align that content and make it center. So I can pause the video and see what I've just done right now. So I'll have that kind of what? That kind of content there. Okay. Uh, so after, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, height of 25 and then put the button of follow. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put the height of 25 and then uh, I go ahead and put a, an elevated button. So elevated button, it's going to have this style that you can see, elevated button dot style form, uh, from, and then you put the shape, uh, you put the, the, the radius to 20, and then you put the padding to 30, horizontal, which is symmetric, and then you put the what, the color to the color that you want. For example, me I can put my accent color, which is going to be that kind of pink, and I'll achieve something beautiful like that, okay? can even be scrollable hope you can see that it's beautiful okay so after i'm going to put these uh containers that are going to show my followers and the one that i'm following the social score and then the okay that content those countings okay so i'll begin by putting uh 35 as height and then after i'm going to create a row you see this row that is going to have these followers that you're seeing here okay so let's go ahead and do it together so i'll begin by creating a what a row and then it's going to have children okay and then i'm going to give it a, 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 a what the um, the main alignment of space around okay so it's going to have children so in this children the first chair that you're going to put here is this thing that you're seeing here so it is a column that is going to have a what of uh, that's going to have uh, the number counting on top and then the the description in below it so if i want them to be balanced and uh, not to or uh, to spend the whole space and throw an error i have to put expanded with each in each so when i put expanded uh expanded must take a what a child okay so in the, ch the child of this expand is where I'm going to put the what? The column. Like this. So this column is going to take children. So the first child is going to be our counting. This one here. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put our first child, which is the counting. And you can see I have styled it. I'll style it and make it bold. So when I save, I'll have that counting in the middle. Since it is the only one available there then i'm going to put a, a spacer of five as height okay and then after doing that uh we're going to go ahead and now put the what the description of that okay so it's going to be a text view and then we have this style okay and then um you can see gray it is that which is 400 600 so you see i have this one which is the number of followers all right and it is in the middle so i believe you can be able to achieve that if you follow the video step by step you see so i have this first ui so i'm going to go ahead and put the second one and the third one So the second one, I'm going to put uh, the number of followers. It's just all the, the same exactly what I've done. So you can even create it a single user interface, and then you'll be calling it. Then the number of what? Of people that I'm following. You see? That's it. I hope you are together. So since they're expanded, so it will make sure that they occupy uh, equi equal equivalent distances or equal distances. Then I can put the last one, which is going to be also expanded, and I put the what? The social score. 
come here so that's what it's called so when i save i'll have something beautiful like that i hope uh you're getting the concept all right so after doing that i'm going to put now uh, this divider okay so i can again add another row if i want to and then i add another content like that one like this one so this one just a duplicate of the top one eh? okay just to show you a skill that you can do something that you want all right so i'm going to put a divider that's going to spread the countings or the counts from the content i'll put the divider and then i'll achieve something like this sorry this divider should be outside the row so i'm going to come and put it here in the column okay so i have that beautiful divider that is having height of 50. okay it's so beautiful and then after i'm going to go ahead and now put the what the content which is going to be just my simple what my simple lorem with the that text okay so this is just nothing but my strings dot lorem these are just lorem ipsum and then i have styled it like this so you can pause and look at how i have styled it okay so i can go ahead and paste this lorem like two times so i can have something that makes sense right, so by doing like this i'll have created such a beautiful user interface can you see that it's beautiful so you can go ahead and implement this one in a different kind of what in different kind of projects so let me put here um okay so i hope you can see that and i hope you can pause the video and follow these source codes carefully and um, you do what you design such kind of a beautiful user interface we have just done it here without any magic all right let's do another interface Okay. All right, so we're going to see how we can design our second what? Our second interface. So you've seen how I've achieved this one. All right, so now let's say that you want to design uh, this interface, okay? This purple interface. So we're going to design this one together. Uh, that's also straightforward and then uh, you will do a challenge of designing this one by yourself and maybe also a challenge of designing this one by yourself this one is exactly the same logic that we have used but different height and uh, different design so you'll give this one as a, a challenge to yourself and uh, we implemented drawers you can also implement this drawer as a challenge to yourself and also um you can also design such kind of a drawer by yourself as a challenge okay so let's go ahead and do this one this purple um ui and then the remaining ones i'm going to show you their screens and you pause the video and you do them by yourself All right so this is just a simple ui as you can see it is kind of simple so let's go ahead and design it together very fast so I'm going to come to our project. Come to routes. Duplicate this one. And you call it purple profile. So we're going to create a separate screen for the purpose profile. So I'll come to our what to our profiles here, create new one, and I call I'll call it uh, 
Po. Papo. Profile. Screen. Dot. That. Right, so I'll go ahead and put stateful widget. Then I'll go ahead and import this guy. So after doing that, we can now connect this purple screen, purple profile screen with our heart, with our main screen or with our main home page. Right. So if I now come to our main home page, I can see purple profile. So when I click on purple profile, we have there our placeholder that we're going to design and come up with the other user interface. Okay, so let's go ahead and design it. So I'm going to begin by returning the scaffold. So return a scaffold there, and then we import it. Then after returning the scaffold, so the next thing you're going to do, I'm going to give this scaffold a bug, a white background. So after giving the scaffold a white background, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to give it this app bar. Okay, we're going to design that app bar. So let's do the app bar together. So I'll come here and give app bar, and then this app bar is going to have the style, the overlay. So this overlay is going to help us to change the color in the what in this uh, top uh, toolbars. Okay. So system overlay the color we change it to system style overlay and we make it what. Um, so we give the the system brightness to light and then the status color to purple. Okay, that purple of seven hundred. Then we'll have something beautiful like that on the top side. Okay, so after doing that, so the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we are going now to design the background, okay, of the of this uh, app bar. This app bar, we're going to give it the background color. So we'll give the background color of the app bar the same purple color. So I'll come here to app bar. So I'll come out of this style system style overlay, and then I come and give this purple app bar to purple. So I'll have this purple. So I told you if I want to change the color of this icon, if I want to change it to out to white, I have to pass the what we call icon theme, and then I pass icon theme data, and then I change the color to white. Then this icon will be white. So after doing that, now the next thing we're going to do, we're going now to change the title, to add the title, and put the title of view profile or profile details. Okay. So the title of this app bar is going to be text with the word view profile. And then when you save, be like that. So I can change this style to white. All right, so we have that view style there. So after doing that, the next thing we're going to put these action buttons. So I'll come to app bar and then I put the what? Our action buttons. Action button, just simply put actions and then I write the button that I want them to be there. Okay, so if I save, I'll have the action button and the menu on it. So I can change the color of this action button to what? To white. Okay. Then we'll see. I'll have something like that. Okay. So that are the action buttons or the actions. So after doing that, now the next thing we're going to do is now to put the single child scroll view and then we put our content. So I'll come to the body of this scaffold. And then we're going to put there single child scroll view. So this single child scroll view, you are going to give it a container. 
as its body. I mean, so as its child. And then after, I'm going to give it the column as the main child. All right. So after doing that, um. So after doing that, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give the what the top size this one so it can be spaced. Uh huh. And then after, I'm going to give this title, okay? Or the name. I'll put the name here. So. I'll go ahead and style my name and make it bolded and then we'll have something like that okay so I can pause the video and you see how I've styled this name to make it bolded all right so after doing that the next thing I'm going to give a container of height 10 or height 5 and then after I'm going to give the title that you're seeing here of a photographer in that style so <clears throat> it's a text this guy i'm in a meeting i'm in a meeting sir first wait i'll get you back to you uh-huh so it's going to be uh the photographer and then text align to center and then style body one and then i give it a copy this color okay so if I save, I'll have the title there as I've defined it. All right. So after doing that, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and give the height of 25. Okay. And then I'm going to create a row that is going to have this call icon and then this image and then the, I mean the message icon and then the image, the profile image and then the call icon. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. So you just begin by creating a row. It's going to have children. So the first child is going to be the what? Uh, let me say uh, the alignment is going to be centered. Okay. So our first child is going to be the button with a color of green. Inquil or with a button with a color of green. So that is it. Uh, this is self-explanatory, so you can be able to do that. Okay, then we'll have this first icon here. Then we're going to put our image. I mean, we're going to put a space of width 10 or a container with width 10. And then after, we put our image or avatar. Okay, so let's copy this avatar and I put it there. So this avatar is going to have a background color of purple. So this background color of purple is the one that is going to be around the what? The avatar. So this is the color that you see around here. We set it by avatar, background color of that purple. Okay. So after doing that, the next thing that we're going to do, we are now going to put a container that's going to create this space. Okay. And then after, we're going to put our what? Our call icon. Okay. It's going to be inkwell and then we paste it there. All right, then we'll have that. So you see, have my call and here and here. So after doing that, uh, the next thing they're going to do, they are now going to add uh, the divider that's going to separate this top icon from the content counting. So I'll come and put a divider in the column. So next to the row. I put a what? I put the divider. So this divider is the one. Sorry, I put it in the wrong place. It's supposed to be here next to this row. I put the divider. So this divider is the one that's going to separate the content up from the content down. So you see, it is uh, beautiful that way. Okay, so after doing that, uh, the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm now going to put the 
these counts okay so i'll design a single count and then i think we designed these counts in the previous uh, example so i can just copy these ones and i put them there we designed counts like this on the previous example so let me put them here and then we'll have something like this okay these counts they just have it's a row which has expanded and then a column or in, inside that expanded and then a text that is bolded on top with that color and then the spacer and then the a description then time was three okay then you'll be able to achieve this kind of a column so i can collapse this one again put my what my divider okay so i'll come here and put the divider and then we'll have something beautiful like that i hope you can see how we're building something nice all right so after doing that i'm going to i'm going to do what i'm going to put now a row that is going to contain uh okay so this row i've finished it i'm going to put uh, uh okay i'm going to put now the content this content that you're seeing here okay so it is just nothing but remip some and then we'll have this kind of content then after that content i'll not put another div i'll not just put one more divide and then i put the what the content that i want to display those bottom rows the email and so these ones are just like this one that we did here only but these one are just two two per each row so you can do the same and make sure that they are two per each row however also the cross alignment of these ones they are on start okay so you can get those uh, three rows with the website link, the email, the phone number, the location, and the zip code. And then you design them and then put them here. So by doing like that, you'll be able to achieve something like that. Okay. Then you can go ahead maybe and put the what? The, um, you can go ahead and put the floating icon. That you're seeing on top there all right so you see we have, we have been able to come up with uh, our simple and but nice user interface you can go ahead and add this what uh, this floating button if you want to add it for example for sending a friend request or doing some any kind of action that you want so it has to be in the scaffold like this all right so you'll be able to design such kind of a beautiful user interface so i want to give you a challenge i want to give you a challenge so we have designed these two together uh, i want to give you a challenge you design this one Pause the video and design this profile user interface. Okay. Okay. Also pause the video and design this user interface so you can get enough experience. The same techniques, but challenging yourself. Also pause the video and design that user interface. We've already done one of this kind. Okay. So pause the video and challenge yourself and design that user interface. Also pause the video and design this user interface which has the navigation, I mean the, the drawer bar, because we already covered these drawer bars. So go ahead and do those by your own self. All right, so this makes our first session. Let's go and have a short break of five minutes. So at exactly 10, we should be back and do the last session. In the last session, you're going to cover other interesting things and uh, you're going to do the what? the shopping user interfaces you're going to see how to design, design such a, uh, a category user interface we shall design these kind of cards we shall also design the product listing uh the product listing like um, this one okay and also we shall design the details uh, the product details what the product details screen so that's what you're going to do in the next video or in the next session so let's go and have a break of five minutes and then immediately after five minutes 
we should be back and then we do the shopping user interfaces don't miss and uh, make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel so when you upload the video you always notified let's have a short break of four minutes So immediately after four minutes, we should be back and then we do the second session.